Okay, next up we have the activities officers for environmental and community. Um, we'll start on the side and name your please. I'm Stefan and I'm going for environmental officer. I'm Luke and I'm running for environmental officer. I'm Coralie, I'm running for community officer. And I'm Abby and I'm running for community officer. Okay, lovely. Um, Stefan, we'll start with you. Um, what plans do you have to ensure the environment stays high on the agenda of both Subu and the university? I think there's really two ways that you have to tackle that. And the first way is to keep up the pressure that I, I put last year. So last year at the big student meeting, I put through two green motions. I put through two motions. I was the only person who put through more than one motion in that meeting. Uh, one was about preserving green areas of the university and the other was about green technology for new buildings. Following that, I think really what it's about is it's, get, it's working with the green ambassadors, working with students, finding out what environmental matters to students and reminding students that they live in a, in a place of huge environmental importance. And that's not just Bournemouth, that's Poole Harbour, that's the proximity to the sea and that's the, the new forest. And reminding students they really do live in a special place. Well, people are starting to care more about um, their contribution to the environment. So I promote the use for like online materials and work with uh, BU Green to see what students feel they would like to change about the environment and I'd go through that way and help achieve that. Okay, thank you. Now to community, Carly. Um, my question to you, how would you describe students' current engagement with the community and what do you think are the benefits of an improved relationship with them? Yep. I think they're really involved already actually. Um, Winton High Street would not be the same without students. I think if we um, engage the community more with the students, then um, the permanent residents will actually realise how much students contribute to the community of Bournemouth. Okay, lovely. And Abby, how about you? Um, again, I think they're very well engaged with the community for all the volunteer projects, and students are really giving their time to the community. But I do think there is that step further to go, such as just getting them involved, like talking to students and and seeing what they want from the community and see what if there are problems and trying to fix them and really getting to know what the problems are. Thank you guys, lovely campaigns.